Texting and driving is wrong, dangerous, and against the law. There are many reasons why you should not text and drive at the same time. Not only is it illegal, it can endanger the lives of yourself, your passengers, and others around you. According to lawyer Edgar Snyder, every day 11 teens die due to texting and driving and 1.6 million accidents are caused every year because of cell phone use. Did you know if you take if you take your eyes off the road to answer a text for about 5 seconds while traveling at 55 miles per hour, you've traveled over 300 feet. Distracted driving kills hundreds of thousands of people every year, and here are the reasons why you should not drive text while driving behind the wheel of a car. Driving is a privilege because of the inherent risk and responsibilities we all need to assume out on the road. Dangers of texting and driving, you would think, would be fairly easy to grasp, but many still do not until they hear the facts. According to the DMV, in 2014, 26% of all car accidents were caused because of cell phone use. In 2015, 58%. Because of distracted driving in 2015, 9 people were killed every day because of cell phone use. More than 1,000 injured because of distracted driving, and 42% of teens said they had been texting and driving before the stats rose in 2016. Texting and driving is the leading cause of death in teens over drugs and alcohol use. There are many other forms of distracted driving, including visual distractions, taking your eyes off the road, manual distraction, taking your hands off the wheel, and cognitive distractions, taking your mind off of safe driving. Texting and driving includes all of these into one. To read an incoming text, you have to take your eyes off the road. To reply to that text, you have to then take your hands off the wheel and use your phone. Then, to reply and formulate a response, your mind is taken off safe driving. Texting and driving is illegal in today's society. Children are growing up with smartphones, and for many, texting is the preferred form of communication. But that does not change how dangerous texting and driving is. Is sending a text worth the risks of you losing your life or being the reason for somebody else losing theirs? Is it worth the penalties entailed if you were caught doing it? Not at all. Even in the strictest laws and penalties cannot affect a person the same way it would if they end up hurting someone else while on the road. Texting and driving is dangerous drunk. Driving with a blood alcohol level of just 0.01% increases your chance of causing an accident by 46% according to a 2014 study conducted by the National Highway Traffic Safety Board. Why is texting and driving illegal? Not only are you endangering the lives of yourself and others, you could cause an accident, which ultimately costs the state. Every accident has to be cleaned up, and some of them have to be investigated to see what went wrong. If you get caught texting and driving, depending on the state, the penalties include hefty fines, license suspension, rise in insurance rate, and time in prison. Distracted driving, on average, kills nearly 400,000 people per year. While texting and driving is dangerous and illegal, it is for good reason. According to the stats shown by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, during daylight hours alone, approximately 660,000 drivers are using their cell phones while behind the wheel of a car. Driving is already dangerous enough while you have cars around you because you must focus on maintaining your lane and it cannot be done safely without your full attention. If a driver takes their eyes off the road, they not only endanger themselves, but their passengers and other individuals and vehicles around them. A Huffington Post study showed that 48% of drivers admit to being on their phones at least once per trip, and 98% say they know it was an unsafe practice. My name is Brendan Smith. Don't drive while texting.